Hey, 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 I'm Errol Chef Mad Max. Hey, welcome to my show. What's going on, my friends? What's happening? What's the crack lacking? Um, like always in the beginning, thank you very much for watching me and checking out my stuff. Without you, I am faceless. With you, I got my name in the uh, internet right now. Maybe you will help me get to the TV station so I can cook for bigger masses. All right. Thank you again. Dziękuję wszystkim bardzo. Like always, I try to be cool with people. I love share food with people. I love to cook for them. I love to uh, make them happy. So today show and today recipe it's for my good friend, my shizzle, my ace, Mike Cox. Brother! Sometimes that's happen, you know. Love you, bro. Uh, he loves Mexican cuisine, so I'm gonna make him some Mad Max burritos. So he don't have to go on the way home to some Taco Bell or Walmart or whatever he stops by to get his food supplies. So let's go do this thing, alright? Let me get my gloves on because always I cook with gloves. So it's sanitary and doesn't bother my skin because I am uh, very uh, sensitive in this way. Alright, Mikey, Chewbacca, that's for you bro. Alright, I browned up some uh, extra lean beef with some smoked pepper, turmeric, a little bit salt, pepper, cumin and garlic. To this mixture I'm adding right now some scallions and cilantro. To get this going, right there, right there, and I want to add some stuff to make a little more delicious. I make some fresh pico de gallo, cinder tomato, cilantro, uh, uh, I use the shallots, garlic, lime juice, and spices. And of course I'm cooking the stuff in my favorite cooking vessel wok. I'm sorry, it's a Mexican dish, but I cook lots of stuff in the wok. So I'm adding some pico de gallo to make the stuff a little bit more wet and juicy. Because my Cox, he is a big fan of wet and juicy things, man. Well, we're not going to talk about it on the <coughs> internet because it's inappropriate. And we need to keep it secret. I'm not going to cook it for a long time. I want to keep a little bit of a fresh approach. It's a little bit more so it's nice, wet and juicy. Because Mikey, he is this kind of guy. He likes wet and juicy stuff. All right, brother. So we got this going, oh the aroma, it's incredible. I'm going to add, because Mike, he is hot and spicy guy, some pickled spicy jalapeno peppers. I don't have any fresh ones, so I'm gonna use those babies. Let's go kick it up the notch. Let's go get the Chewbacca sweaty. Let's go get the sweaty. Not wedding. Oh, sorry, man. I know you will never get married. Yeah, don't follow my mistakes, man. I did this and, uh, you know, you know what's up. So I'm adding two big helpings, two tablespoons of the pickled jalapenos. And we're steering this stuff around, steering it around. And that's all for cooking, man. I don't want to get uh, my cilantro and tomato 
cook too much I want it to be fresh and delicious and like my brother he's fresh and delicious not for my taste because I like girls but uh, you know what can I say All right. A delicious burrito mixture looks like this if you want to see it ah, smells so good I'm reading a little bit non-stick pan because I'm gonna sear the burrito and bottom side so stay and take it doesn't unfold because it's gonna be served by Mike to himself late at night when he dines and try his delicious Bud Light. Sometimes he goes to freezer and he pour himself a cup of delicious Burnett's with touch of Red Bull Ah. And that's how it goes, baby. So we got this going. I'm going to taste it to see if it needs more seasoning. Not spicy enough. Well, let's go get the chili flakes out. I don't want to add any hot sauce because hot sauce is wet will make my burrito beef mixture too runny so I got this going I was planning to get this but I'm not doing it and I'm gonna add a little bit of lime fagin it's lime, paprika, Mexican spice and also let's go get a little bit more cumin so it's nice and humany and delicious all right this is his rock and rolling ready to go the board needs to be clean cutting board like this and I shredded up some Mexican quesadillas chest, ch chest, cheese very nice melting cheese from Mexico actually because I know my boy he likes the cheese and I got my tortilla open up the tortilla like this place it on the board and also Mike he likes beans I can't stand the beans I choose for him today red beans because black beans I think they still make him a little bit gassy so my kitchen is small I have to deal with this like this so we got tortilla then what we're gonna do we're gonna put a little bit of cheese first. We're gonna do double cheese. So quesadilla cheese. And then I need the big spoon. Because I heard Mike he's a spooner too. He told me he is, but I don't know meaning of that, so I'm not gonna say nothing else. Let's go make those burritos nice and filled deliciously all right so we got beef mixture maybe I will reposition the camera a little bit more in this area so everybody can see it we got a uh, little bit of cheese beef and beans I'm gonna use some uh, shredded Mexican cheese blend got a little bit zinc then we're gonna roll it, fold it, and roll it. See? And we get delicious, perfect burrito. And I'm putting, like I mentioned earlier, and uh, non stick pan to sear the bottom. Part where's the you know the edge of burrito, the flappy edge too, make it stay again. Cheese, 
beef. We make a little bit more. Few beans, so it stays nice and gassy. And more cheese. And like this, hops, hops, in making the rolls. All right. And that's another one. All right. I guess, uh, hope you have idea. That's the finished product. I'm gonna cook them slightly, slightly, very gently. So just get seared up and uh, this part so it doesn't move. And that's burritos for my brother, Mike Cox, known as a Chewbacca. The world famous Abdab Dower, the Loma boy, the pretty boy, the good friend of mine who works with me. And sometimes we hang out, we need to hang out more and start chasing some senoritas because I'm single man now. Alright, thank you for watching me. Appreciate you guys. Uh, dziękuję bardzo. Metal Chef loves ya. Be kind to each other and till next time. Rock and roll forever. Chewbacca, my cogs, that was for you, baby. And I hope you like it. I'll bring it up to work tonight. So you can taste the Mike Cox burritos. Till next time, see us.